Hey everybody, my name is Chow. Welcome to Your Walk. This is a point-and-click adventure game that's based on Swedish folklore, and I absolutely love folklore, so I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. I've had this for a long, long time. I just never got around to playing it, nor did I watch anybody play it, so this will be blind. And uh, with that said, let's just jump right in. In the old days, man tried to catch a glimpse of the future in the strangest of ways. They locked themselves in dark rooms, not partaking of food and drink. At the stroke of midnight, they ventured out into the night, through the dark woods, where strange creatures roamed, to see if they would be wealthy, to see if they would be happy, to see if they would live, to see if they would be loved. Okay, that, that was referring to the year walking, I think. Oh, what's that? I think I said A and D to go left and right. North to to head north press W. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's take a look around. Already I'm really liking the feel and the looks of this game. Like the art style is really nice. It kinda looks like everything was painted in watercolor or something. Um can we interact with this house? No? No, okay. Let's check out these menu items. Cool. I got a map. Looks like... Oh, and a, it tells you where you can head to. Like the paths. Like that, that, that. Okay, awesome. Cool. Won't be getting lost very easily. A journal? I don't know what that means. Hints? I'll try to use that as little as possible and an encyclopedia. Cool, let's see what this is all about. The Yearwalk Encyclopedia is a collaborative eff effort between Simogo and Theodore Almsden, who's the author of all written content. Oh, oh. Okay, I guess this is a little, little biography about the person who um, put it together in the encyclopedia. Cool. Let's check out what your walking is. Your walk. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm not sure if I should read this. You know what? I'll read them and I'll add a little annotation if you want to skip it. Your walk. Your walking was at its core a vision quest with the purpose being to foresee the future. There were very rigid rules concerning the year walk, and not adhering to them could prove very dangerous, even fatal. How the practice of year walking came to be is shrouded in mystery, but it seems to have been widespread practice in Sweden until the beginning of the 19th century, and in some rural areas as late as the beginning of the 20th century. The practice was likely over a thousand years old, and most certainly pagan. Year walking varied greatly regionally and even locally, there might have been differences between one village and the next. All the variations had a couple of elements in common though. A year walk could not be done on any common day. There were certain days a year when the gate was opened, generating the eyes on with important festival days such as May Day, Midsummer's Eve, or Christmas Eve, and most commonly New Year's Eve. A year walker could not partake of any of the food or drinks that were served on these days a sacrifice of no little significance since these feasts were some of the rare occasions when food would be plentiful and varied. A year walker had to avoid other people, so they commonly locked themselves in dark rooms and were not allowed to see a fire for the entire day. Perhaps not a vast sacrifice on Midsummer's Eve, but on cold winter days it would be uncomfortable at least, if not hazardous. If the year walker followed these steps, he would leave his dark room at the stroke of midnight this would be his chance to cancel the year walk. Once he ventured out, there was no turning back. The church was the final destination for a year walker. On his way, he would typically encounter a number of supernatural creatures, which would pose a threat physically, mentally, and spiritually. If a year walker made it to the cemetery, he would walk around the church in an intricate pattern. 
This would open the year walker's eyes to the future, but it would also lure out the church grim. After having completed the year walk, the walker would see the visions that could manifest themselves in different manners. When the year walker left the cemetery, he might for instance see a somber procession of dancers dressed in their finest church clothes. These would be the people that would die the following year. A reoccurring theme is, of course, the year walker who meets his own ghost on the road. Another story tells of how the walker would see newly dug graves. Love played a great part too, so a walker would typically meet wedding processions or even attend weddings yet to come. One testimony from the late 19th century tells of a mental patient named Martin Nielsen who described his visions as otherworldly experiences. Before I saw what happened next year, I lived among the stars. I lived there for many lifetimes, it seemed. What do I care for next year? Time has already ended. Today the practice seems to be almost entirely forgotten. Cool. Okay, I'm guessing basically what a year walk is is a vision quest. A very, very spiritual, spiritual experience, it seems. Cool. I'll read the other um, encyclopedia entries as um, as they become relevant. I, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to meet these, all five of these things eventually. But for now, let's go exploring. And nothing interactable, it seems. I do see a path. And, oh, arrows to indicate. That's really convenient. That's super convenient. Cool. Let's see, let's see. Oh, what the heck is this? A box. Oh, with a brook horse. I think, at least I think that's what it said, right? The brook horse, yeah. And the church grim symbol. Let's start off with the church grim symbol. The church grim. Of all the creatures in Swedish folklore, the church grim was doubtlessly the most complex and certainly the most feared. Little is known of it, since it was considered bad luck to even speak about it. The church grim's appearance varied, which could possibly be attributed to the nature of the church grim's origin. When a church was built in medieval times, an animal was sometimes buried alive under the floors, most commonly goats since these were comparatively cheap. There have also been stories of criminals being buried alive as punishment. In other versions, the criminal's heart was cut out and placed inside an animal carcass that was sacrificed. The heart was central in many of the myths surrounding the Grimm. Stories from the south of Sweden told that if you can touch the church Grimm's heart, you could stare into the eye of creation. The church Grimm guarded the church against thieves and grave robbers, but because of it, even honest folks avoided the church at night. Some stories say that if you were unlucky enough to be the last one to die during the year, you would serve the church Grimm the following year. There are other stories that suggest the church grim was not a guardian at all, but rather a sort of parasite that was drawn to the energy of the church. While there, it fed on people's hopes, dreams, and fears. A recent and controversial theory suggests that the church grim was closely related to a nameless Bronze Age deity. Hmm. Interesting. So the reason why this thing has the head of a goat is because goats were pretty cheap and often sacrificed. Interesting. And the fact that sometimes criminals would be buried underneath the church to as punishment. I can understand why people, even good people, like were kind of fearful. I'm not sure I got any sort of clues from that though. Hmm. Let's see. Let's check the map. What is this thing? Woods in a box. Fit Torpskok. I I I'm, I don't I don't speak Swedish. I have no idea how to pronounce these things, so I shouldn't even try, or else I'm just gonna butcher it. Anything here? Well, this 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 zone goes really far, but I don't I don't see anything highlighted. I mean, I see that box. Oh, I see a path up too. Well, let's go play with the box a little. I can already tell. I'm gonna lose my voice by the end of this playthrough. Let's see. The circle, right? No? Weird. It's some kind of pattern. 
This reminds me of those old school telephones where like, in order to input a phone number, you'd have to like, stick your finger in the hole and like, pull it all the way to the end and let it like, roll back. And that's how things got dialed. Hmm. I see two more symbols. There's a brick horse and there's another symbol over there. The miling. Gross. Infanticide. Okay, I'll read that later. I don't know how to open this thing yet. But maybe we'll get some clues later. For now, let's go and follow that path. This path. Yeah, this path up. Let's do that. What is gonna be here? Woods. Woods. Maybe nothing interesting. More woods. More woods. Wood outskirts. Plains. And windmill. Here's the church. Oh, okay. So this... We're gonna end up exploring everything, but the path that we can take for now is this thing. Gotta get to the windmill. That's the goal. Cool. If I see anything interesting, we'll stop. But it doesn't seem like there would be. I'm really, really digging this game so far. It's like really nice and quiet. The scenery is really bleak, which really sets the tone really well. Interesting, you know? And I, I just said it earlier, but the art style is right up my alley. I like this. It, what it looks like is like... Like stamps. Like, for example, this rock right here, right? It's like... The way they did it, they cut out a sponge or something or and created a stamp, loaded it up with some like watercolor and just stamped it down. It's pretty cool. I like that aesthetic. It pleases me. Okay, well, here we are. This sh there should be a path going this way eventually, but it's locked out for now. Let's just keep making our way over to the windmill which is where we gotta be pretty close I was thinking that each of these like little things on the map like that tree or that box would be a thing but I guess not cool windmill we're about to get there it's so empty and desolate it's great Okay, there's actually nothing to really interact with, like there's nothing to be clicked on. I'm guessing maybe we can't click on things until we get inside of- Oh, whoa, hello! Yeah, left click to interact. There you are. I've been waiting for you all day. Oh, hello. Who are you? A lady friend? You wanna hold hands? You should not go outside without a hat on a cold day like this. You'll freeze your ears off. And I'm quite fond of the person those ears belong to. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm quite fond of you too. Hello. Touch your ear. Did anyone you see you come here? No. I was completely alone out there. Oh, now you're being silly. You know that I'm not ashamed of you. Oh, are, are you my secret lover? It's not that. I like you very much. But you and I come from different worlds. He's waiting for my answer. I said I'd give it to him next year. Oh, love triangle. And this is the last day of this year. Oh, shit. So, guess I'm in love with this girl. But... She's been proposed to by another person. Damn. Now you're being unfair. This isn't any easier for me. I don't like it when you're like this. Calm down. Hey, I'm calm. You're walking. I hope you're joking. Oh, so that's why we're here walking. We want to find out if we're going to end up marrying this girl or not. Because you can see the future during a year walk. You can see ev the events of next year. And if there's a wedding involved, 
You'll be there. Cool. You do remember what happened to my cousin, don't you? No? What happened to your cousin? Promise me you won't do anything foolish. We are not supposed to know what happens in the future. This music is really cool, by the way. I really like this. You should hurry home to your cottage and get some rest. Oh, but I want to hang out. It's getting dark soon. Hurry home to your cottage. Alright, so we just had a secret meeting in this windmill. And that's all you want to say? You don't even want to make out? You should probably go, Fuck, you don't love me. You should really hurry home now. It's getting dark soon. Hurry home to your cottage. You should probably go, Oh, she's just going to cycle through? Yeah. So she's cycling through the same things. Oh, well, it was nice seeing you for that short little moment. I'm not sure who you're gonna end up marrying. Wish it was me. Cause you a cutie. Alright, let's get out of here. Heartbroken. Alone. Forever alone. That's how I'm gonna live my life out here in the fucking Swedish wilderness. Alone and confused. With nobody but... With nothing to comfort me but my thoughts. Should you find yourself lost, clues can be found in the hints menu. Cool. Damn it. I don't even know her name. Hmm. Wonder, uh, what kind of dude she's gonna marry. Maybe ladies. I don't really know what era this is. This feels like it would take place in older times, right? This game is based on Swedish folklore. Whenever, whenever it's folklore, it's a little, a little more old school. Oh shit! Cool. Oh, it says Earwalk. Ear. Ah, oh, it's freaking awesome. What how badass. Oh, even more badass. Trees? A feather. Or is that a wing? Looks like a bird's wing. Half a wheel. More trees. A lot of a wheelbarrow, I think? A lot of wheel motifs going on here. Your walk. Oh. There's a chimney and that tripod for cooking over a campfire. I wonder if this is just a design thing or if any of these things have meaning. Like that windmill blade. Super cool. Super cool. Oh. Oh, I was missing that. And, and that apparently. Oh, a key. That's a, that was a pretty cool cinematic little opening. I liked it. It's dark now though. Hmm. Check the... M wow! So much to explore. Right. What's in Kiln? Can we head to the, we can we can access everything now. Let's go back to the windmill. Yeah, that, that's what I wanna do first. I wanna see if she's gonna be there. Maybe we can get another secret meeting with her. Anything new along the way? I feel like this is new. Yeah, there's so many new things. I don't recognize a lot of these things. But, like I said, off to get to the windmill. Oh, look at this. What is that? The scribblings along the trees are going to be clues for something. I'm not sure exactly what yet, but they will be for something. Windmill. Here we are. She's not here. Dang. Well, that was a bust. Not even sure where to go now. 
You know what? I think a good way to be thorough would be to start in the back and then move around. Like, originally we're here, this is the path I just took to get to the windmill, and this is basically a dead end. From here, from this point, I can go down and check out the brook, and then go back up and go around, up there, touch down, because I think the church might be where I want to go last. So yeah, that's, that'll be what I... That, that's the plan. That's the plan. So I'm going to head back this way. Okay, here we go. We're back here. And this is where it is. And now we're in the brook area. Oh, hello, a little house that we can check out. Let's take a look inside. What's this? Cannot interact with it. It's probably locked with something. Oh, never mind. Maybe I can. Oh, to hold it. Huh. Is that a furnace? Maybe an oven? Okay, then I guess I keep this in mind and just bring something back. Maybe burn something in there. Yeah. Leave it open. This is how we got here. What else was here? Woods and kiln. Oh, I wanted to get to the middle so I can get to the brook. And then we can read about the brook horse. What is that? Weird. Hello. Okay. Let's see. What was of interest here, Brooke? Nothing much. Hmm. I was thinking there'd be something of interest here since there was an entry about the Brook horse. Which I guess I can just read right now. The Brook Horse Sweden is a country that has a lot of lakes, rivers, streams, and brooks, and Swedish folklore is filled with strange creatures residing in the dark waters. The Brook Horse was a pale horse who lived in creeks or lakes, luring children to ride on its back. The Brook Horse's spine grew for every rider that it lured on top of its back. When the Brook Horse was satisfied, it leapt into the water whereupon the children drowned. The brook horse had a lot in common with the Nix, a handsome young fiddler who lured young girls down into the water, and according to some, they were one and the same. It's likely that the brook horse was made up to keep children from playing too close to the water. One of the more unusual descriptions comes from a story told in the north of Dalarna. A young man is on his way home from his work at a charcoal kiln. He decides to wash up in a nearby creek. The man finds a strange stone, formed like a small child in the water. He picks it up. The man notices he's not alone. He's being watched by a horse walking on two legs. The horse stretches out a human hand to the man who gets frightened and runs home to a shack he shares with his fellow workers. He tells the tale to his comrades, who laugh at him and call him a drunken fool. He shows them the stone that now looks quite ordinary. The man curses and goes to bed. When the workers wake up in the following morning, they find the man dead in his bed. His lungs filled with water and the stone nowhere to be seen. The brook horse was almost always closely associated with death, not always in a negative way. For instance, in the sad folktale Lil Nils, the brook horse is the one who finally leads little Nils' soul home and thus ends his long series of misfortunes. Oh, okay. So you don't really know if the brook horse is a good or bad omen good or bad things, but it does kill people. In that passage, in that, in that passage, there was like a mention of a, of a stone shaped like a little child. I wonder if I can find it. I'm, hmm. This isn't the kind of point and click adventure that I'm used to. Things aren't as obvious as they seem. Kind of cool, to be honest. I guess the first order of business really is to explore everything I can to make sure um, I'm getting the details that I need. Most likely, 
most likely I'm gonna have to use everything that I see in order to solve clues or use all the clues that I find to, to solve puzzles that I have yet to find I think yeah there's a weird stone here I'm not sure I could even decrypt it right now the only the only real lead so far is that box that was like found early early on in the game what is here wood and sh woods and shed or a dead tree let's go back and check the dead tree first since that's a dead end after all dead tree path not accessible actually yeah there's no X here or there so it's not accessible yet all right well, I guess I just shit so I settle for this shed whoa okay weird little doll oh oh you oh you turn it Oh, it screws downward. Okay. Oh! I was pointing left. Pointing right. My left and my right. Left, right, left, right, right. Right. Left, left, right, left, right, 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 left, left. Oh! Fuck. Oh, what the... Oh, what the shit? 